Reagan Love. Hi, I'm Sakarius Mothers. And I'm Rihanna Love. I'm in seventh grade. I'm in eleventh grade. And I'm also in eleventh grade. Okay, the book that we read is called A Brave Little Cookie by LeBron Bracey. My first reaction was, oh, we're about to read a book about Empire, about the show. I thought it was someone making cookies and just... It was hard to tell at the moment. I thought it was about a cookie. Okay. In the story, it talks about how a young woman who was born in the Civil Rights era. During this time, black people had their own things, their own sinks, their own bathrooms, even their own restaurants. They were still treated as inferior. Vaughn Bracey, also known as Cookie, lived in St. Augustine with her mother and father. Her father was also part in, of an organization called the NAACP, also known as the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. He was the president. Because of her dad being president, this caused many problems. They were given threats from the Ku Klux Klan, her mother was fired multiple times, they moved to Gainesville, Florida, where nothing changed. When they moved to Gainesville, Florida, Cookie's mother did not want her husband joining the NAACP because she thought it would cause more problems. At that moment, he did it. But later on, he joined the organization and became president in Gainesville. So her father did find a 10th grader. And an 11th grader. You're right. But he still needed a 12th grader. But Cookie did feel bad that her father was doing all this work and it wasn't paying off. But did she volunteer as tribute? She, she did. did. But. That was not easy for them. Cookie was obviously scared, so what she did was pray. Her mom even gave her some advice, which was, Cookie, kill them with kindness. And those words stuck to her like glue. On her first day, she was treated awfully. The kids were mean to her, and so were her teachers. They glared at her, and even failed her. One day, after her dad dropped her off that school, boys and his friends jumped her, beat her, kicked her, and stomped her. Man, that was terrible. It was. Yeah. Anyways, she was left in the center of the school, bleeding and the principal came to pick her up. The principal refused to call home, which was school policy. With that being said, she had to go to the nearest phone booth to call her father. Don't forget, once her father got there, he had to take her to the nearest African-American doctor. Oh yeah. She had five days and wondered if she went to keep going or stop. She also had to think about how it would impact future African-Americans. For her classmates, they increased their efforts to be mean and bully her. They believed that black and white should not integrate. Oh my guys, that's good news. What? what? She graduates. You're, You're right. right. After being put through so many things, after being physically and verbally abused, she still got her diploma. After reading this book, I learned that we should stand our ground and believe what we live up for. I learned how hard it was for them and how determined. I learned how hard it was for them and how determined they were. I learned that you should always try your best. Even if you come to difficult tasks or challenges, you should always push through them because there's nothing like challenges to make you work harder.